Today's video is all about sharing the top five reasons why I decided to relocate my family from another area in the lower mainland back to the neighborhood of White Rock. And I have a little bit of a confession. I'm about a block and a half from the border, but the point of telling you that is that I get to enjoy all of the great things White Rock has to offer and basically consider myself a resident of White Rock even though I'm only a block and a half away. If you're watching this and you're someone that's thinking of relocating to the city of White Rock, this video is meant to get you excited about all of the great reasons and all the reasons that my family and I discussed about why it would be the perfect place for us to live. This way you can determine if it's the right fit for you or maybe you're better to go spend your home searching energy in other areas of the lower mainland. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you hang around to the very end as well because I'm gonna give you some rapid fire reasons a little bit outside of the main reasons we decided to move back to White Rock just so you have a really good overview about how excellent this community is. Hey, my name's Darren, team lead with the German group with McDonald Realty and a Surrey and White Rock resident. If this is your first time on the channel and you wanna know everything there is to know about living in either Surrey, South Surrey or White Rock, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell so you get notified every time we release a video on the area so you're the first to know about what's going on locally. We get calls and texts every single day from people just like you looking to relocate to the area and we absolutely love getting them. This means that if you're looking to make a move in the next nine days, 90 days, or nine months from now, be sure to hit us up and send us an email, send us a text, or give us a phone call and we'll do everything we can to help make your relocation to the area a smooth one. Maybe you're somebody that lives out of town and you're doing all of the right things, trying to figure out what the best community for your next home might be. You're spending tons of time on the internet, whether you're Googling all these different places and searching and scouring the internet for just all of the information that you feel that you need to make a really good decision. There's a million websites out there and there's a million things to consider when you're making a move. I was lucky enough to grow up in the South Surrey and White Rock neighborhood. There's a little pocket of the area called Ocean Park where I spent the majority of my childhood up until I was about 19 years old when my parents finally moved. Thus I had to move with them because it was too expensive to move out at that time. I didn't have enough money, but I never really quite understood how amazing amazing the community was that we lived in at the time. I didn't really appreciate it. I kind of thought every community was, was really like that. Fast forward after I did some traveling in my early 20s, I actually ended up buying my first home in an area called North Delta. No shade on North Delta. You know, it's a beautiful area and we really enjoyed living there, but it's not so Surrey, it's not White Rock. Years ago, about three years ago, during the COVID-19 pandemic, me and my family, we decided to make our move back to South Surrey. This is the place that I chose to raise my family. White Rock or the South Surrey area was always number one on our list. There was never anywhere else that we were even remotely considering because of some of the great things that this community offers. And this is the place where I want to call home. And this video, well, we're going to get into the top five reasons about exactly why my wife and I made the decision back when we did. So let's get into it. One of the first things we considered was the schools in the neighborhood. And we actually had a very young family at the time. My firstborn was only three years old. But schools, well, of course, they're really important, especially if you've got a family. And the schools in the South Surrey and White Rock catchments, well, they're not going to disappoint you. Now, this video is directed directly towards White Rock. So let's talk a little bit about the schools that if you do choose to live in the city of White Rock proper that your kids are gonna go to. There's only actually two elementary schools in the city of White Rock proper, and this is Peace Arch Elementary and White Rock Elementary. The other schools that residents of White Rock go to are actually located in the city of Surrey, including the secondary schools. White Rock Elementary is a great school. They're known for a few things. As an example, for the 27th consecutive year as of this filming, students from White Rock Elementary have won first place in each of their divisions for both track and field. You've also got Peace Arch Elementary, which has an early French immersion program that brings in people from all over that want their kids to learn how to speak French at an early age. On their website, one of their goals is to improve students' attitudes and dispositions towards mathematics. This is something that they really find important and want to focus on for their K-7 to audience. There's three other elementary schools that you could find your child residing at if you decide to make your move to White Rock. 
HT Thrift is an older school that backs onto Semiamu Secondary School. It's a small school that has multiple playgrounds and a large gravel field. Some of the important things for HT Thrift are school-wide positive behavior support plans, an art club at all grade levels, and an incredible array of extracurricular activities offered like hockey, badminton, volleyball, basketball, track and field, chess club, art club, Lego club, and knitting club. My favorite of the bunch is actually Bay Ridge Elementary, which is the highest rated elementary school in the area in comparison. Bay Ridge Elementary is also a small school, kind of looks like it's out of a storybook, featuring a large grass field and an incredible playground that the kids absolutely love. Lastly, you've got Ray Shepherd, which has large, large grounds with lots of room for the kids to get outside. This is a larger school as well that's been around for quite some time in the South Surrey neighborhood. So you've actually got five elementary schools in the White Rock catchment areas that your kids could possibly go to and they're all rated differently by the Fraser Institute. I'm going to touch on that in a moment in the video but I also want to let you know about the three different high schools that are available that your kids could end up as well. White Rock while it's only a very small area there's still three high schools that actually service the community all located again in Surrey. These three high schools include Elgin Park, Semiamu, and Earl Marriott. Worth noting as well that these three high schools are all rated quite high in comparison to the remainder of British Columbia in terms of how their students actually perform their academics. Since all three of these schools are located on the peninsula as well, the peninsula of South Surrey and White Rock, they're relatively competitive and they're also pretty good at a few things. They're all known for sports like rugby and volleyball, but their academics programs as well. Samiamu is also incredibly sought after by the international community because it offers an international baccalaureate program. This makes getting into the catchment of Samiamu incredibly popular and sometimes a little difficult. Now you probably noticed that I was providing rankings with each picture or image of each school that I was describing. And the reason I did that is because that's what the Fraser Institute, an independent think tank, rates these schools based on their academic performance. I want to give you a little bit of a caveat to those recommendations. Number one, all the schools that you're going to find in the White Rock catchments are incredible schools that any kid would be lucky to go to. Teachers and principals and sometimes even parents absolutely hate these rankings and this is the reason why. A public school, as you know, well, number one, they don't get to choose who comes through their doors similar to like what maybe a private school could do. And there is private schools in the South Surrey White Rock area as well, but for this purpose, they're not included in this video. Another consideration is because we're in the Lower Mainland, which is a popular place for people of all different types from all over the world, Sometimes the students that ends up in some of these public schools, well, English isn't their first language. So not only are they trying to learn the curriculum, but they're also trying to learn English at the same time, which sometimes can bring some of these ratings down a little bit. To tie this up a little bit, I feel quite lucky that my kids have the opportunity to go to any of these schools in South Surrey because they're all incredible. The second reason that we decided that White Rock was a place that we wanted to call home is because it's a lot less busy here than other areas of the Lower Mainland. You see, White Rock is not a pass-through city. It's not a city you drive through on your way to another city, like let's say maybe Surrey or Burnaby or New Westminster as an example. All great cities in the Lower Mainland, but pass-through cities. This means you don't have a lot of traffic from outside areas coming into White Rock unless they're coming to visit the beach, which we'll touch on later in this video. As of 2021, Stats Canada reported a population of approximately 21,939 people, which was a growth of only 10% since 2016. White Rock is 5.13 square kilometers, and the average age of its residents is 53.3, which if you're guessing is probably a little older than the majority of the province. So there's not a huge population that lives in White Rock, which means it's not overly busy, but the important thing is there's nowhere to go once you hit White Rock because it's a beach community. You've got the ocean there. Your only choice really is to go into Surrey. And one of the great things about living in White Rock is there is easy highway access at multiple points in the area. This means you can still get out of town if you want to, and you are siding onto the city of Surrey, which gives you all the amenities that can be offered 
quite close to home that might not be offered in the little town or city of White Rock. Number three on our list was that White Rock is an oceanside community. Enough said, right? Who doesn't want to live by the beach? Whether it's a family walk with the kids or your spouse down by the water, or taking the dogs to let them go run wild on the beach, which there's only certain areas you can do that with. You're maybe going down there to watch a beautiful sunset or just catch the cool ocean breeze. Who doesn't want to live near the ocean? Marine Drive features various shops, restaurants, and of course, treats like ice cream. It can get quite busy in the summer because it's a popular spot for people to come visit from all over the lower mainland. Yet you get a nice trade-off in the winter months when the lure of visiting the beach isn't quite as popular. This Oceanside community of White Rock is known for a bunch of things. One of the things that's really neat, which unfortunately they don't do anymore, is they used to host epic sandcastle competitions every summer starting in 1979 for about 10 years. There's some really cool pictures of this and just an unbelievable amount of people at White Rock Beach, more than I've ever seen in my lifetime living here, available at the museum archives. Not only is it an Oceanside community, but it's also home to Canada's longest pier and the White Rock. Yeah, the city of White Rock has a big white rock sitting on the beach. The fourth reason we decided to move to White Rock was because of the quality of life and just how awesome it is in this area. Now, some of this is gonna fall over onto the Surrey side of the border, but you're so close to all this in White Rock that obviously you get to share some of these amenities. You've got great shopping options through town, and there's three main ones all in South Surrey. You've got Semiamu Town Center. You've got the Grandview Shopping Center, which is a newer area full of big box stores, chain restaurants, and tons of shopping options and you also have the South Point area. You've got some little areas around town as well, like the Quiet Ocean Park area, Peninsula Village, and the Five Corners area and Johnson Road area, which is located directly in White Rock. You've got tons of parks to choose from in the area as well, and I'm not talking little parks this full of grass, I'm talking about nice trails to walk, ride your bike, walk the dogs, and just get out in nature. There's Sunnyside Urban Acres, Crescent Park, Elgin Heritage Park along the Nickel River, which has a ton of future development coming up in the near future, which you can find all on the City of Surrey's website and Blackie Spit. Again, these are all located in Surrey, but just a short drive from White Rock. When it comes to recreation, you've got everything that you could ever ask for, including the South Surrey Indoor Pool, Senior Social Clubs galore, Grandview Aquatic Center, South Surrey Athletic Park, more on that later. So many more in fact that we're not gonna dive too deep into all the services because that would make for a very long video. Number five on our list is the South Surrey Athletic Park. I touched on this a little bit earlier on in the video, but it's so amazing that it deserves its own honorable mention. If recreation is a big part of your life, or maybe you have kids that are highly involved in sports or otherwise, this is an area that you are going to love, love, love living near. South Surrey Athletic Park features soccer fields, baseball diamonds, football and rugby, cricket, an outdoor water park, community and recreation center, skate park, biking trails, pickleball courts, an ice rink, the BMO Coastal Soccer Center, tennis courts, a quarter mile track, picnic areas, playgrounds, and volleyball courts. Do you want me to keep going? Because I will. It also sides on the Sunnyside Urban Acres Forest, which was mentioned earlier in this video. This is a 140 hectare park with natural second growth forest, but the best part is the network of nature trails is about four kilometers long. So there you have it. Those are our top five reasons why we knew this was the area that we wanted to call home. But I promise you at the start of the video as well that I would give you some honorable mentions and rapid fire mentions. Well, this is the time, so keep up. White Rock has a rich history and heritage. It is near the border, siding onto the city of Blaine, which means easy access for cheap gasoline, quick getaways to the United States, and great shopping. A funny thing about White Rock as well, because it's located on a quite you know substantial hillside, is it always seems to be sunny in White Rock, whereas the rest of the lower mainland's dealing with clouds and rain often. Crescent Beach Marina is just a short 10 minute drive from White Rock if you're into boating. And probably one of my favorite things about living in White Rock is everybody in the lower mainland wants to live here. So there you go, now you've learned everything you need to know about whether White Rock is a good move for yourself and your family. And I'd be curious what you thought of this video in terms of living in White Rock. 
If you're a local watching this, did I miss something awesome about living in White Rock that anybody else watching this should know? Or maybe what's your favorite part about living in White Rock? If you're somebody that's considering relocating or moving to White Rock, leave your questions in the comments and let us know what else we can help tell you about this community so you're confident that if you do choose to move here, it's a great one for you and your family. We've also pinned our contact information just below in the comments. So if you do have any questions and want to reach out directly or you need help buying a home in White Rock, you can reach out to our team and we'd be happy to make your move a good one. Better than good. Excellent. Great. Incredible. You're going to love working with our team. Hey, look, I want to thank you for watching. I want to thank you for subscribing. And if you're interested in learning more about White Rock, be sure to check out our playlist all about living in White Rock. I'll definitely look forward to seeing you on the next video. Cheers.